Oh. Hey. Well, I got a lot more polishing to do on this. So I think I'm going to set this aside for a while and save that for when I don't need to concentrate so hard on something else. Um, this was last week's project. We're going to see if we can't get that finished this week. But that's a, that's a big if. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's time to get started on another project. So this week I got to host shop night and, uh, and get together with some very talented uh, um, woodworkers, craftsmen. Um, and part of the part of the shop night is bring pieces of wood to trade. And uh, yeah, I got this piece of palm, and it looks like it might be good for two or three pieces, and in, and also in different um, aspects. So I thought this week I would do a palm uh, cup. I'm going to cut a section off here somewhere around, man, maybe somewhere right around here. I, you know, how big should I make it? I don't know. Maybe about one hand. How's that? There's one hand. That might be a little bit big. Maybe four fingers. We'll do a four fingers, okay? So we're going to cut this off right here. And then I'll mount it up in the lathe with a woodworm screw. I hope this will hold a woodworm screw. This is palm, I, like I said, and I have no idea how it turns. I've never turned this. This is gonna be a completely new experience for me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be interesting to see what this turns into. Well, I would cut this on the bandsaw, except my bandsaw is just a little bit too small. Okay, here we go. All right, well, I noticed this has some splits going in there, and that's going to make me nervous. Doesn't seem to go all the way through. But the interesting part about it is it developed inside of it. So I'm still gonna have a go at this, but I think I'll dump some CA glue in there and see if we can't uh, remediate some of that uh, potential issue. The issue of flying the flying palm tree because we don't want to get hit with that okay end of that well we'll just have to see how it goes I'll let that set up for a minute I gotta tell you, that's gonna make me nervous right off the bat. So this is gonna be a spindle turn. Oh. It's gonna go, we'll just make some marks here. Get an idea where the middle of this thing is. Look, the middle's right next to the crack. That makes me even more nervous. Oh well. I'm still gonna try this. Yeah, I made that plenty deep, so the woodworm screw is gonna have lots to bite on. It's on there and I think this is going to be a face shield job here because I don't want to get hit <laughs> if I get hit I don't want to get hit real hard okay this is going to be the bottom this is going to be the top we're going to put a tenon on 
And uh, like I said, this is a spindle turn, so we'll have to see how it, we'll just have to see how it turns. We're gonna wear a little body armor with this too. Not that it's real great body armor, but it's better than no body armor. If this thing comes apart, I just don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit hard. Although I can honestly say that I've never had anything come off this lathe that became inherently dangerous. I've had a few things come off the lathe, but uh, they usually just spin down to the ground and dent or break or this stuff here is pretty hard. I'm turning it. I'm going to turn it up to about 800. And okay, that's starting to vibrate a little bit. I'm going to turn it down. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull this off here gently. That's very interesting. And it has texture. I wonder how I wonder if I should go just a little bit deeper. Or do I just go with the texture? I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper, I think. Well, it's interesting. I, I don't know if you can see right here or not, but it's uh, like right here, the grain is, oh, maybe that's that crack. Is that the crack? No, that's the crack right there. This has a texture to it. I don't know if I can get that smoothed out any or not, or if it's gonna be prevalent all the way through. Like I said, I've never turned this before, so I don't really know its characteristics. I'm gonna try to scrape on that a little bit and see if it doesn't clean up. See how clean it will get. This is like learning curve, because I don't know, I, like I said, I've never turned this before, so I don't know how the wood behaves. I don't know if this is something that you you uh, embrace the texture in it and, and, and let that play, or does it sand out completely smooth? I don't know. We'll just try this a little more. We'll, we'll put the scraper on it and see what kind of, see if it can stick it down smooth. Still feels like there's some tear out, but see how that gets real smooth. Maybe I just need to get a little a little further into the wood. I think I'm gonna take a another pass and take another sixteenth off or maybe even an eighth of an inch off all the way through. Let's see if that doesn't uh, smooth out some. Yeah, that ought to be about right.
We'll get this little clip done and then we'll go to the other. These trap wrenches are real nice for getting this off the woodworm screw. Uh, especially this piece because it's in green turn. Anyway, I like it. Works good. Must work for me. Okay, off it goes. Go ahead and pop this out. Well, our pieces didn't go flying, so I guess that's a good sign. What kind of finish do you think we should use on this? Maybe, uh, maybe a few coats of lacquer or something? I don't know. Okay, so on this, I think... I think because I'm worried about these letting go, I'm going to do something that I've not done before. Because I really don't want this thing to go away. I don't want it to become three pieces because it very well could. But I think I have a prevention for that and we'll just see how it works. I'll be right back. I've never done this before. But hey, you know it might work. It could be a good idea or it could be a dumb idea. I'm just gonna do it. See, that's gonna turn that direction. So I need to turn this unlocked. And I'm gonna pull this off here just like this. I don't know, let's see. This shrink wrap is amazing, is an amazing material. I don't know whoever figured this out. Whoever figured out that saran wrap was the best thing in the world to do for this. Good. There, we got it where we want it. I got it where I want it now. We'll show them. All right, so let's turn it on and see what happens. Yeah, it's going around. Oh, you know what? I probably ran that the wrong direction. See, because that, that's going to unwind it. I don't want to do that. I want it to wind it. So how about I just go around again the other way? What happened to me? Tell me whether or not you think this is a good idea. Write it in the comments. And if it, if it blows up and doesn't hit me, I'm calling it a win. If it doesn't blow up at all, I'm still calling it a win. There, turn it on now, Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's going around. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. I don't know how Paul behaves, but you know, maybe it's not even an issue. Uh, I, you know, I just don't know how, I just don't know anything about palm, so it might not even be an issue. But if it is, we've covered our bases. It's kind of like turning a piece of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Presto log. I'm going to come up with the speed a little bit to about a thousand or twelve hundred. I'm about maxed out on that. I think I'm going to have to use a different tool. We'll switch to a carbide tool. I might move this camera mount too, but we'll see.
and then I'm going to sand it and then I'm going to finish the inside with CA glue and uh, hopefully that will bond this help bond these cracks together they they do concern me and I'm pretty sure that if I didn't have this uh, shrink wrap on here that it probably would have let go but it hasn't let go so far so I'm feeling really good about it it's interesting the way it comes apart it's all dust there's no shavings at all it's all dust it's all dust like this this is what's turned off of it which might be kind of fun to use for fill that being all of that being said this has been a very interesting return Okay, time to sand. We'll start out with some 80 grit, about 600-700 RPM. Okay, I've sanded this down through 320. I've taken some of the 320 sawdust and forced it into the crack. And what I'm gonna do now is go uh, and put a thin coat of CA all the way over over the whole inside of this This is thin CA I'm gonna go right into the crack for thing. RPMs. I'm gonna take that in put it in there. I'll start right back here. I'm gonna get the bottom of my fingers. already gotten hard so I'll flip this over the other direction oh yeah that's got a smell to it too you gotta love it cool in a, in a brilliant way so I'm gonna put this on here I'm just gonna put a little drop right there Now that sand is also, that sanding has also left pieces in the cracks. So we're going to go ahead and use, uh, I think we're just going to do the thin CA again. Oh, and then we'll just, uh, so right here. And that will be the CA pitch right there. Okay. That I think has worked out geniusly. Let's turn this off and have a look. I really like that. I think that's going to be just wonderful. So, now we'll take this off, I think. that we got full penetration with our CA glue which is good came all the way through the piece so now we'll go ahead and sand this down I think we'll take some 80 grit first off and see if we can flat this out right here very well I have no doubt in my mind that had we not put this uh, shrink wrap around this that it would have been a disaster. So, yay for the shrink wrap. If you get to use that sometime, or if you've used it before, hey, mention it in the comments. I would like to know if I just invented something here. 
And if I didn't, I, if I did invent it just for me, but you know what? Feel free to steal it. <laughs> I'm sure somebody else invented it before, but uh, man, I'm gonna fill up some of these little littler spots, and I'm just gonna CA them up real quick. And, uh, and we'll send some more. One coat of CA on there. I'm going to put another coat on there right now for you to see. And this has become real stable now. It's not, uh, I don't feel those cracks moving anymore. So I think they're going to be pretty good. 150 RPM. And we'll just take this right here and we'll drop the, we'll just drop drops right in front of it. As soon as they start showing wet, we'll just bring it right on across. And that's how you do a CA finish. Oh, that looks good. I might do one more coat on the outside. Or I may just put some beeswax on it and call it good. I think it looks pretty good. You tell me what you think in the comments. Let's see, now we gotta make a lid for this and we'll get right to that in just a second. <clears throat> well, good morning, here we are. Yep, and this thing's still here. More sand to go. Don't stop now. But I guess we will stop now because we have something else to finish. <clears throat> Yesterday's bowl needs a lid. Cup, I guess it would be called. I'm not sure. You tell me. What do you call this thing? It could be... I don't know what it could be. It could be anything you want it to be. All right, here we go. Well, here's the cup from yesterday. We put a CA finish on it. Um, and you can see the CA. I don't know if you can see it inside there or not. Um, there is a, uh, the CA made some lines in the bottom of it, so I'll have to sand that out and then we'll do it again. We'll do a little more stuff on it. A couple of little issues right there is a little chip out, so that needs a little more fill in. A couple little bitty ones here and there. But so we're learning about palm. And I'm, I'm liking this stuff. I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to do a little more fiddling with this and some spots on that, but... In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and make a lid for this. Um, this is Paduke. We're going to go ahead and put it on the woodworm screw. If the woodworm screw will let it go on there, we'll see if that's too hard for it. Well, here we go. And it's spinning. Push OK. Set the speed at 100. Push on, and away we go. Oops, I think so, let's just do it. There. Okay, that's seated all the way around, nice and properly. And, and we're spinning forward at 100. We're gonna go to F2, push. That's 500, we'll go up a lot now. Thousand. So we're just going to it up. Just go ahead and make a mark. This will be the outside diameter of the, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, that's the outside diameter of our bowl. So we're gonna have that to work with. Now we wanna go to the inside diameter of the bowl. This will be the inside diameter. 
Let's see if we can get her where we want her to be. Well, that look. Much better. Matter of fact, I like the idea of a lip because a lip does a couple of things. One, it covers up any imperfections on this rim. If you have an imperfection there, it disappears when it slides into the lip. Two, the second thing is you have two points of security on the on the thing. You got you, you've got this ring in here that holds it stable, and then you put this on the outside, and it will hold it, it'll trap the outside of the bowl in the thing. Um, I think making it less susceptible to contraction and expansion, or if it does, it keeps it um, um, more uniform. So I just went down like mm, a 32nd there. Let's see how, let's see what that looks like. I think that's pretty good. This is Wenge. We get adjusted up here. So I think we'll put an acorn on the end of it, and then we'll bring it out and have a waist, and then we'll have a taper, and then we'll have a foot. 
Those are all technical terms, by the way. You'll find them in your uh, wood turner's dictionary. I'm joking. That's not really true. going to wrap this video up for this week um, this is the palm Wenge and Paduk um, trinket bowl fits really good looks good you can pull it down snug get a twist it comes right off okay so if you like the video why don't you go ahead and uh, if you could hit the like button that'd be great if you uh, want to keep seeing these uh, whenever they come out uh, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah that's gonna wrap this one up maybe next week we'll get that uh, base on the uh, on this thing those legs are gonna look really good on this anyway Thanks for watching. I appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one.